Ladies and gentlemen, the teacher of your first burlesque act is going to show you how it's done. Glam Amour. A quick little introduction. My first open stage, Russ came up on the stage and he's like, Doug on it. One of these days, someone's going to get up here and do some Shakespeare. And I went, Hey, stripping in Shakespeare. That would rock. That would be awesome. So I decided to take up on the challenge. So I would like to present to you Shakespeare's epilogue from As You Like It. <laughs> I take it you like the idea. It's all right. It's all right. It's my turn! <laughs> As you like it. It is not the fashion to say the lady the epilogue, but it is no more unhandsome than to see the lord the prologue. If it is true that a good wine needs no bush, <laughs> it is true that a good play needs no epilogue. <laughs> but to good wine, they do use good bushes. <laughs> and a good play proves the better by the help of a good <laughs> epilogue. <laughs> what a case am I in, then, that I'm neither a good epilogue nor can intercede with you in the behalf of a good play. I am not furnished like a beggar. Therefore, to beg would not become me. My way is to conjure you. And I'll begin with the women. I charge you, oh, women, for the love you bear to men, to like as much of this play as please you. And I charge you, huh, men, For the love that you bear to women. Mm -hmm. And I can see by your simpering that none of you hates them. That between you and the women, this play may please. If I were a woman, you know, Shakespeare, you gotta run with it. If I were a woman, I would kiss as many of you as had beards that pleased me, right. yeah. complexions that liked me, and breaths that I defied not. <laughs> and I'm sure as many as have good beards or Sweet faces, or sweet breaths, or breasts, I'm good, <laughs> will for my kind offer, when I make my curtsy, bid me farewell. <laughs> <laughs> 